Hi there, welcome to Lush One Synthesizer Module 202. What we're going to talk about today is the Voltage Controls Amplifier or VCA in the Lush One Contour Module. And we're going to look at this for two things. We're going to look at it for controlling the dynamics, i.e. the volume of a note. And we're going to look at it as a multiplier of control voltages. So to start off with, let's just look at what is a VCA. VCA has two inputs, uh, sort of conventionally a signal input and a control voltage input. And it's an amplifier whose gain is proportional and depends on the control voltage. But of course, for any amplifier, the output is simply the input times the gain. So combining these two things together means that we have an output which is proportional to the input times the control voltage. Well, that's all a bit theoretical. It's easier to perhaps understand it from a practical point of view. So practically, we would typically think of the input as an audio wave of some kind. And then you would think of the control voltage as something that you want to use to shape that wave. For example, the output of an ADSR envelope generator. And when you combine the two things together, what you get is a wave that fits within the envelope set by the control voltage. Technically, this is called amplitude modulation. It's the same technique used in AM radio. And we can think of the VCA as an amplitude modulator. On the Lush One Contour, we have a VCA module that really conforms very much to what we've just seen. We have two inputs. We have a an audio input and a control voltage input and we have a single output when the control voltage is 5 volts then essentially the gain is 1 so this is an amplifier that keeps the same the same volume we have one extra control which is the control voltage offset and this is used to add an offset to the control voltage input and allows you to move the zero point of the amplifier to where it best makes sense for your application. If you sort of set it so that the zero point goes off the bottom of the scale, then the gain just gets clipped to zero. So that's a very quick introduction to what a VCA is. How might we use it? Well, what we've got here is a design pattern which is very typical of how you might use a voltage controlled amplifier in a modular synthesizer. So you start off with the oscillator and you might feed the oscillator, main oscillator output through a number of filters or effects or, or modifiers of some kind. And then the last link in the chain is to add a voltage controlled amplifier to create the shape of the note that's played. And we feed the control voltage to that voltage controlled amplifier with an ADSR output which is triggered in this case by MIDI gate out but anything that reflects the uh, start and stop points of the note you're playing and because the voltage controlled amplifier is the last link in the chain then you obviously connect its outputs to your external amplifier and speakers and the reason we do this is typically we can't guarantee that any effects units in the system are going to produce no output when there is no note being played. They may internally resonate, for example. So by putting the voltage control amplifier at the end of the chain, you have a device which you can use to set the volume to zero when there's no note being played. And in the case of the Lush One, because we do have this amplifier, voltage controlled amplifier at the end of the chain, we can patch the gate in on oscillator one to five volts, which will keep that oscillator running all the time, uh, regardless of the state of the MIDI keyboard. Um, so this is a kind of pattern I think you'll want to use a lot. I'm going to start off with a very simple demonstration of how to use it. But before we do that, a quick word on taking the output from the VCA on the, on the Lush One. In the first modules where we had the Lush One base, we used the 3.5mm stereo jack, which is connected to the output of the filter. Uh, as the way of connecting to external amplifiers. But when we're using the VCA as the last link in the chain, we don't have access to that jack. And on the Lush One Contour, we have an alternative way of breaking out, which is connectors that connect the 2mm uh, banana plugs used in the Lush One to phono slash RCA connectors. So we're going to use these break-in, break break-out points as a way of bringing the signal out to the external world. 
So let's actually get a real patch going and make some noise. I've built here a patch which is the same as one you can look up on the slides if you want the details, uh, which is an example of the type of configuration we've been looking at. We've got the main oscillators patched into the filter on the Lush One base and the output of the filter is coming into the audio input of the VCA and then we've got the MIDI output gate going into the trigger of the ADSR envelope and the ADSR is providing the control voltage input to the VCA and the output of the VCA is going through this phono lead uh, into my mixer. The uh, last thing that we need to do here, and it's always easy to forget this, is to patch the gate in from the Lush One base to 5 volts to override its built-in gate. So let's do that. Because we've got the offset on the VCA turned up a little bit above zero, we hear the sound now that we've now that we've opened that gate. And the first thing we need to do is just turn this offset down slowly until that sound cuts off. That's about there. Maybe just a little bit further. There we go. Let's just play some notes and make sure it cuts off when we release the notes. That's probably still a bit more lingering than we really want, so let's just turn that down a fraction more. Well, that sounds quite good. So we've got the ADSR now set up reasonably low levels of the attack, decay and sustain. The release is a little bit high. Um, let's just try turning up the attack and decay here, uh, something with a sharp beginning when we do that. Hopefully you can... Hopefully you can hear there you start to get a bit of a bounce on the beginning. And certainly if we turn them up to maximum there, you hear a definite pulse on the beginning. If we turn them down the other way, then you'll hear um, a note that builds and decays very slowly at the beginning. And obviously if we turn the, turn the decay down, release down as well, then we get very floaty sounds. If we turn the sustain all the way down to zero, we actually get a note that it basically drops to zero. Um, and we'll just turn these up a little bit, give it a bit of a bit more of a clear, a clear boundary. So hopefully you can see there, even though I'm holding the notes down, they decay uh, during the during the whole period of that note. Um, so this is kind of okay and it gives you a sound that's a little bit more natural than the very hard gate that we get from uh, just using the built-in gate on the uh, Lush One bass. Um, but where it really starts to get interesting is if we turn up the gain coming in from the LFO and we've set the LFO into once mode here, then we can start to combine a frequency change in the filter because of that gate input with the note shape and then we start to get some, some more interesting sounds. And we can change the LFO shape.
Well, hopefully that gives you a bit of a feel for the range of sounds that you can get out of that. Um, it's worth playing around a lot with different configurations and different patchings and this kind of in this kind of setup uh, you'll find that there's a really really vast range of things you can do so I encourage you to, to mess around and play with different things there um, as we kind of mentioned in the last module of course you can use the ADSR as an input to the filter instead of uh, an LFO in once mode so you can try patching the ADSR output both to the filter input control voltage input and the VCA control voltage input um, or if you're feeling really ambitious then uh, get two contour modules and use different ADSRs one for the uh, one for the filter input and one for the control voltage to the VCA um, there's definitely a lot of stuff uh, that's worth playing about with there I want to show one last thing in this module which is another way of using the voltage control amplifier which is as a control voltage multiplier the the VCA the voltage control amplifier in the Lush One Contour has a direct current or DC coupling and what this means is you can use it on signals like control voltages that change slowly and have a value where the absolute value is significant um, and the range of the inputs is such and with the DC coupling that you can put two control voltages into the inputs one into the input that's labeled as control voltage and the other one as into the input that's just labeled as in and the effect of that is to multiply the two control voltages together and you get a control voltage out from the VCA which is the product of the two inputs uh, so this is quite a powerful thing to be able to do and one useful thing to use as one of the inputs is the second low frequency oscillator provided in the Lush One Contour. So there's not too much to say about this oscillator. It has a simple speed control and, and two outputs, a square output and a triangle output, uh, both of which work simultaneously. Um, but you're free to use this to provide any control voltage to any of the systems in the Lush One. Um, and it's a useful addition to the single LFO provided in the base module. So I want to show you something slightly wacky uh, using the LFO as a control voltage multiplier. We've built a patch up here that you can check out in the details and slides. We've basically got the two LFOs going into the VCA and we're taking the output into the control voltage input of the filter and we're just using the self resonance of the filter to create the sound here. We're not using any keyboards or even the main oscillator on the Lush One base. So I'm just going to turn up the gain on the output there and we can hear this thing chuntering away to itself. Here, there. That as you change the change the oscillator settings, you get different interactions between the two LFOs. Um, we can also change the shapes of the waves, which also creates an interesting range of sounds. So let's change this output from square to triangle.
little kind of proto dubstep bass line there. Well, you can mess around with that to your heart's content. Um, what I want to talk about in the last module for the Lush One Contour is to introduce the ring modulator and how to use that. But uh, in the meantime, hopefully you've got a lot of ideas to be going on with uh, using the VCA and the ADSR and the extra LFO. So hope to see you next time.